Hi, I'm Phil Ross. I'm one of the co-founders of NOLO. And in this session, we're going to be talking about adding and instantiating basic controls. So what I'm going to start with is the most basic Hello World example. I have my PHP tags, which is the beginning and end of every PHP file. I have an include to my NOLO path, which this happens to be in this setup. In a different setup, it might be in a different location. I have a Hello World class, which extends web page. It's the basic starting point of every application. I have a constructor for that class and calling the parents constructor. This line will appear in the title bar of the web page. And then the next line is a simple alert of Hello World. And let's see what that looks like. I have it loaded up here. There's that title and there's that alert. So this example is good just to see a basic response from NOLO to see that I have set everything up correctly. I have my class and constructor and so on. But it's not very useful in a practical sense. Uh, the problem with this alert is that it's very much a system message. And as you can see, the page is still loading. It's waiting for the user to click OK. It won't do anything else until I click OK. So that's typically not the way that you would present information back to the user. Uh, what you would normally do is you would create a new, what's called a label object, which will just display information without waiting for a response to finish loading. So that's what we're going to be focusing on in this session. Uh, so what we're going to do is get rid of this alert line, and we're going to create a new instance of the label class. I do that using the new keyword, followed by the name of the class label, which takes in a number of things into its constructor, the first being the text of the label, which here we'll just write hello world. And the others are optional, so I'll skip them for now and explain those later. And I will save this label into a local variable, which I'll just call greeting. And at this point, we've only created a label, but we haven't done anything with it. It's as though we went to the store and got a label and put it in our closet but aren't actually using it. So what we want to do is we want to add it to the web page in order for it to display. Uh, web page and a few other classes have a property called controls, which holds an array list of all the controls that are its children. So now I'm going to add this label to the controls array list of the web page object. So this is the web page object. Then the property is called controls, which is an array list object. And I'm going to be adding to the controls that label, which I've saved into the greeting variable. Now, when I save this, we should be able to see the label hello world in the top left corner of the web page. Fresh. And there it is. So the first parameter that we filled in was the text of the label. And then the next two would be the location, consisting of the left and top properties, which are the x and y coordinates uh, by default in pixels. So let's say we want it by 50 and 100, which will means that it will be 50 pixels to the right of the top left corner and 100 pixels below the top left corner. And when I save this, and refresh, we should see the offset right there. The next two parameters after the left and top happen to be the width and height, but I'm not going to go into them in detail because the label size looks fine as it is. Uh, but if you want to know what the parameters are to any constructor, you could just find them in our API reference at dev.nolo.com.